This is my body. I do what I want with it. This is my body. I make my own choices. This is my body. I use it as a canvas, tattoo it, decorate it, and pierce it. I take medicine if I want to and only undergo medical procedures I choose. I eat what I want, exercise for my health, and wear what I like. I fall in love with whomever, sleep with whomever, and marry whomever I choose. I decide when and how to become a mother. This is my body, not yours. These decisions have nothing to do with you. If I'm not hurting you or stopping you from pursuing your inherent right to happiness, it's none of your business. This is my body, not yours. Almost one in eight women in the United States will have breast cancer, the most invasive cancer for women worldwide. If I am black or white, rich or poor, married, single, gay, straight, formally educated or not, I have the right to be screened for this killer of women, whether I go to my doctor or rely on the services of clinics like those run by Planned Parenthood. Your desire to stop the funding of abortions has nothing to do with my right to defend myself against cancer. This is my body, not yours. If I choose to have sex, I have the right to birth control and to be spared your demeaning insults you never want leveled against your daughter or mother. My pursuit of orgasm is neither unnatural nor dangerous nor scary nor an infringement of your religious liberty. My sexual activity is for my benefit, not your pleasure, and it is never my fault if you rape me. I am done being excluded from decisions about my sexual and reproductive health. This is my body, not yours. I determine who or what goes inside of my vagina and when. I make all decisions regarding my pregnancy. I will access prenatal care whether or not you agree with the choices made resulting from that care. I have the right to an abortion without facing intimidation, harassment, burdensome parental consent laws, or prejudicial taxes. If I decide to have an abortion, I will not undergo unnecessary invasive medical procedures for the purposes of your moralizing and personal edification. I am entitled to all health information from my doctor, and allowing myself to be penetrated once does not assume your right to do it again on your own prerogative for your own reasons. This is my body not yours. It is time for you to accept that I am fully aware, capable, and accountable for myself. I don't need a hero or saving because I'm not in distress. I am not defined by my need of a man or partner, but I have the right to be made happy by one in a safe and supportive relationship. I am not defined by my weight, hair, makeup, skin color, or breast size. I do not exist to be your play toy. I won't wait my turn, nor be quiet, nor heed you. I know my physical and mental strength, and I do not fear you. I am beautiful, despite what you think, with or without your approval. This is my body, not yours. This is my body. I am through with legislators telling me what to do with it. This is my body. Keep your salacious, aggressive, sexist insults to yourself. I'm not listening. This is my body. I have the right to marry my partner, woman or man, to equal pay, to health care, to education, to divorce, to safety, to protection of the law, to respect and dignity, to complete equality. This is my body, not yours. Do not be afraid of a world in which women know themselves, their voice and their power. That world has arrived.